Good evening. Today I'll be talking about spiritual warfare. A man was once stranded in a game park overnight. He had a lion roar. Terrified, he spent the night in a tree. The next day, he found out that the lion had been in a cage all the time. There was nothing for him to fear. This is a picture of spiritual warfare. In some ways, life becomes tougher when you follow Jesus. One reason is that you have a new enemy, Satan. When we become Christians, we, we become soldiers in a war. If we trust Jesus, we have nothing to fear because we don't fight Satan in our own strength. Let's look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 to 11. And it says, Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls under, around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. In this book, we see that the devil is like a roaring lion looking to devour you. But if you're in Christ, then the devil's in a cage. Jesus has total authority over him. Satan will not harm you unless you enter his cage. How do we resist the devil and stay out of him? out of his cage through humility trusting god self-control and spiritual alertness when we give in to pride unbelief and temptation we lose our spiritual protection stand firm in your faith the main the main battlefield is in our minds We must repent of all occultist practices such as witchcraft, sorcery, tarot card readings, talking to the dead, visiting psychics, glassy glassy and others. Such things are dangerous. God commands us to repent of these things because of three reasons. The first one is all such practices are under Satan's power. The second one is Satan takes far more than he gives. When we open the door to him, he sets about destroying other areas of our lives. And the third point is, God doesn't want us to try to solve our problems or in these ways. Rather, we should trust in God's spirit and word to help us in his time and way, not ours. Imagine a soldier in the middle of a fierce war, deciding his own holiday, putting his weapons down, and going into chill-out mode. This is what some of us do, forgetting we are in spiritual law and acting like we are on holiday. Yet as we move, to, as we move forward in God, Satan resists us. The devil does not want us to remain true to Christ, nor to advance his kingdom. His unseen demonic forces seek to deceive, discourage, oppose, tempt, and accuse us. Don't be naive about being in a war. Rely on God's strength, but not on your own. Lastly, be sure that God will overcome Satan's effort to harm you. So be aware of the devil, but be in awe of God. My name is Timothy Kamori. Thank you.